For 20 plus years, I swore I would never build a custom home, and I did, and I think maybe you should too. Here's why. The complexity of a truly custom home for years and years and years scared me. And I don't get scared easily. I'm a real estate broker. I've been a real estate broker for 20 plus years. And we help a lot of people buy homes, sell homes, buy new construction, buy land to build, sometimes even buy to tear down and rebuild. And for years and years and years, I have told people and believed it, fully convicted by it, that the process of building a custom home is so detailed and demands so many decisions and so much opportunity for failure that it would not be worth it to most people. Now, let me be clear, that was based on evidence. Talked to a lot of people, had a lot of clients, that it was such an exhausting, burdensome, frustrating process that ultimately they deemed it probably was not worth it. Now, I've had many, many people do it and enjoy doing it, be glad they did it, but they just rue the whole thinking around doing it again because it's so complex. Now, when you think of semi-custom or a spec build or a traditional home builder process, they're typically telling you, hey, you have maybe 20 decisions to make. Most of the rest have been decided for you. Here's a few floor plan options. Here's a few countertop options and colors. But when you say custom, you're talking about almost a blank piece of paper. Now, here's what I did. We owned a home on a lot that we really, really loved and we really didn't want to leave that lot, but the home needed some major, major work. Ultimately, we decided that the lot was worth it for us to tear down the old home and build new. Here's a couple of things I would recommend you do if you go that route or you go the custom home build at all. Our architect was also our builder, and I believe that was part of the secret sauce of minimizing the drama of translating the vision and the dream to actual construction. So for us, our architect being our builder and me understanding the world of real estate allowed us to really, really simplify a lot of the translation that would have had to come from drawings and designs to actual construction and how we might live in and use that. That may be the single biggest factor to us actually enjoying this process. I can tell you this, though. we are thrilled with our home and it allowed us to build customized around the existing lot factors. We have a swimming pool that we built around. We have lots of different lot features like gardens and play areas and driveways and things like that that we were able to build around. Some of them got redone, others of them are exactly as they were before that. But the ability to put our lifestyle metaphorically on paper, meaning to build a structure that would specifically support our life now and the way we anticipate living in the future, was really incredible. And obviously that's where custom really comes into play. Where a standard builder floor plan might say, add a game room or not, we were able to say, add a game room of this size, on this floor, on this side of the house, at these dimensions, with this layout, with power here and water here and closet and storage here, with this kind of flooring and all those things. It allowed us to do some really cool things like recessing the floors, where later we would add wood so when you transition from wood to concrete or carpet, you're maintaining almost exactly the same flooring level. And there's hundreds of other examples of where the customization process allowed us to do that. So that is number one, why you might wanna customize, because obviously you get what you want. You get a home built around you or your family or your friend lifestyle and the way you wanna live in it. Now that sounds obvious, but typically we're settling. We're settling for someone else's house, a resale home, that is as closely fitting to what we want as possible. And you can knock it out of the park for sure. That's the majority of what we help people do in our brokerage. Now on a new build, traditionally it's not custom at all, or maybe it's semi-custom, or maybe you're coming in and you get to customize a handful of features of a home. Again, you can knock it out of the park that way, but typically there's some trade-offs. You're getting a few things that you didn't know you were looking for, and you may be not getting one or two or more things that you were looking for, but because of the newness and the creativity of it all, or price or location, you're making settling for some of those trade-offs. Now, even in a custom home situation, you might still not end up with the perfect situation. I would argue that we came as close to perfect as I have ever seen. One of the reasons I said I would never do it is because even after seeing lots of people do it, almost every one of them said something like, shoot, I still wish we would have done this or I wish we would have thought about this, or we didn't know that it was gonna, we would live in it this way. We have been so fortunate. Again, great architect, great builder, and really great process. I give my wife a lot of credit 
for thinking very critically through a lot of these things, but we have landed in a home that we really have no regrets about. There's almost nothing significant at all that we would do any, any differently. And you can achieve that too. Not as easy as with semi-custom or a builder plan or buying an existing home that you can already see in full three dimension and understand how you like it, love it, don't like it, what you might change. But if you have a unique opportunity, for example, one of the areas we specialize in our brokerage is homes on land or homes with big backyards. If you find a lot or land that you love, but you don't love the home, you could redesign it. You could potentially tear it down and truly build custom. Or maybe you're finding raw land that does not have a structure on it yet, at which point, obviously, building a home or potentially building a truly custom home would allow you to have the lot you want the way you want it, the house you want the way you want it, and make sure those two things interact the way you want it. Place the house exactly where you want, at what orientation, at what size, around which natural features, whether it be trees, landscaping, drainage, elevation, or whatever the case may be. All these things might sound obvious to you, but most people don't get to do that. They're making trade-offs. They're living with what the land presents to them or what the existing home presents to them. And this is where you can truly create what often sounds cheesy, but that dream home scenario. I love the ability to create the dream home, the dream lot, and the dream lifestyle all by either acquiring land and adding a home or acquiring land with a home, removing it and adding a home or doing a truly full custom remodel add on build up type scenario. So I swore I would never do it because of the complexity, the number of the decisions and the likelihood of still ending without exactly what we wanted. We sort of defied all odds and broke the code and were able to achieve our dream home on our dream lot, which we already had. If that's something you're thinking about doing, I do think you should consider a true custom build. Be careful with budgets. Make sure you get very specific quotes up front. Be on top of that design and that dream throughout the process. But I now more than ever, and maybe contradicting what I used to say, do think it's worth it and do think it can create a true dream home, dream lifestyle scenario for you. If you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area and this is something you'd like to consider, either buying a home where that's already the case and you don't have to go custom, or buying a home to tear down and go custom, or buying land to go custom construction, let us know. We can help you do that. We help people do that specifically with homes on dream lots, big backyard lots, or in the most desirable neighborhoods in DFW all day, every day. Our contact information is below. Comment below. Let us know what else you would like to know about custom homes or homes on land. We'll meet you in the comments and engage with you there, or we can connect offline and help you one-on-one. -on -one. We'll see you on the next video. Like it if it was good. Share it with someone that could help. We'll talk to you soon. If you want to see how we actually came to the decision to build custom on our existing lot and tear our old house down, check out this video series somewhere around this video of our thought process and how we came to the idea and how we did it. Plus, you'll get to see the house itself.